Let's take a look at what I carry in this teacher card every single day as I come into my classroom and then go back to my car at the end of every school day. Hello and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have something that I've been thinking about filming for a while and I was just getting ready to go home right now because it's Wednesday. So if you see my weekly vlog, you'll notice that I'm wearing the shirt that I wore on Wednesday on that vlog. But as I was getting ready to leave, I'm like, you know what, maybe we can shoot this video really quickly. So you know how teachers usually sometimes if they're on YouTube, film the video of what's in my teacher bag? Well. This is that kind of video, except I don't just have a bag. I have a teacher cart, yes. So let's take a look at what I carry in this teacher cart every single day as I come into my classroom and then go back to my car at the end of every school day. So let's take a look at that now. All right, so I just set my cart off to the side right here in front of me, and I will take out different things, and let's see what's in here, shall we? First and foremost is my purse. Now, I know it doesn't look like a very big purse, but I have a bad habit of stuffing purses over and over to the point that they can't close, and I hardly close this one. This one just has my wallet, some pain medicine, pain medicine, or pain medicine, yeah, my keys, a Fitbit charger, my inhaler because I have chronic asthma ever since I was one year old, hand sanitizer from Bath & Body Works. This one happens to be Dancing Waters. It smells really good. Oh, wow. I made these with the kids during my FSA writing camp, which I did in order to prepare the students for the FSA writing test. So I actually have one in my bag. Oh, I have another one of my African beads bracelet. So I'll just put that in there now so I remember to put it in the right place when I get home. Some lipstick. Papers, papers. I gotta clean this bag out. A micro USB charger for my earbuds. My wireless earbuds. <gasps> A flare pen. Maybe I'm missing this from my other club. I need to return this flare pen. My two Disney pass holders, spring magnets that I got a couple of weeks ago when I went to Disney with my son. I get two because we, are, we have two Disney annual passes. One for me, one for him. A very mushy granola bar, which I can't eat because it has dairy. Probably need to throw this out. Ooh, a bag with Dungeons and Dragons dice. I play Dungeons and Dragons with a friend of mine and my brother and my son and his girlfriend. So maybe I should do a vlog where we play our Dungeons and Dragons game. If you would like to see that kind of vlog, leave a comment down below. All right, lip gloss, another lipstick, not one, not two, but three pens, a hair tie. A Starbucks gift card that I don't think I have used. I guess I should go and get me some Starbucks. A Cheesecake Factory gift card, a Macy's gift card. I haven't used these. What am I doing? I should just go ahead and use them. Another pen, more lip gloss, eyeliner, floss, a finger light, cold medicine. All right. That's basically what was in my purse, but we haven't even finished going over the whole entire cart. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me put all this back into my purse. Stuffing everything in there. All right, so let's go into the next item in this cart is this Mickey bag, which I featured in another uh, video from a couple weeks ago, which I'll probably link in the description down below, or I will put a card up here. So this is my Mickey bag. Let's see what's in here. So the first things first, I have a makeup bag. I have a notebook with my Weight Watchers information. I have Maybelline's eyeshadow art palette, Maybelline's eyebrow palette, Maybelline's Fit Me foundation powder, Maybelline's Master Prime primer, CoverGirl's Outlast All Day lip gloss, 
I have a kitty bag, which I got at Amazon. And this is where I keep my hard drive that I take with me every day. I also uh, have in here my PowerPoint clicker, which is from Logitech that allows me to forward or go be, uh, back on slides when I'm presenting a PowerPoint. It also has a laser pointer. So I don't know if you can see the laser pointer behind me. So I keep that in here as well. I use it in the classroom. And I have my microphone for Powered Device, which I haven't been able to use with this new phone because I have an iPhone 8 now and it doesn't have an earphone jack. So I have to find an adapter so I can continue using this phone. And then I have a portable power cell for my cell phone. And, oh, cool, a Paper Mate gel pen in black. All right, so that's what was in my kitty bag. Reminds me of my cute little black kitty midnight. All right, I also have a panda bag. And in this panda bag, I have it filled with all sorts of pens and these cute little mechanical pencils that I either got at the comic book store or at Supercon. Can't remember, but I have all my Paper Mate gel pens in here along with some big colorful ballpoint pens in here. So, oh, I also have these Paper Mate color pencil, uh, lead pencils. They are in different color lead. I have an orange, I have a green, I think I have a purple, yeah. Here's the purple one. So I have all these, I'm addicted to pens. I love stationery, as you may have seen from my previous vlogs. So I have all this in here, plus I have a black gel pen in here as well. So let me close this up. I have this other bag that I got at Dollar Tree. And in here I have some white index cards because sometimes um, has fuzzies from the bag. I just want to draw on like a card, so I have that in here with a couple of other Paper Mate gel pens in fun, nice, bright colors. Let's put that off to the side. I have another uh, pencil bag. This one is Legend of Zelda. I love Legend of Zelda. This is Link. And I actually bought this at Supercon, Florida Supercon last year. And in here, I have all of my Settler um, fine line pens in a whole bunch of colors. And I also have my Prismacolor brush pens that I bought recently at Michael's that were on sale. So I have all those pens. There's even more in here. But yeah, I carry all this stuff with me. I just never know where I'm gonna need it. Oh, this is another makeup bag. I have brushes in here. I have Bluetooth headphones and they look like this. These were not expensive. I know they look like Beats, but they're not Beats. I'm in a teacher salary here. I can't afford Beats. So these are iFeta. I bought them in Amazon. I think they were like $23, $25, and they work really well for me. I have my iPad, and this iPad is dead. No, it's not dead. Ooh. This iPad um, is engraved on the back. It says Miss Sanchez classes out of this world, and that's why there's a Galaxy. There's a Galaxy picture there. I have some Weight Watchers little brochures when I go to meetings. Oh, I need this. That's important. And I have some more pain medicine portable with band-aids. I have my little markers that look like candy. They're all scattered in this bag. They must have gotten out of the little bag they were in. So let me, get, let me grab one of these other bags and just put them in here. So in you go, little candy markers. I think I got all of them in there. A notebook that says think happy i have a usb power um outlet thingy my bob whatever with a lightning cable to charge my phone i have a little tripod that i carry with me all around when filming it's very convenient because it's small i also in my cart have my tripod where the camera right now is sitting on i have some super orange emergency supplement when you're a teacher, you gotta have those things in hand because you never know. Allergy medicine, foundation from Maybelline, lip gloss, different types of little mini duct tapes. There's more in here somewhere. See, so here's another mini duct tape and another one all in black. I have the Ice Cubes Icebreakers in grape flavor. These are so good, love them. I have a pocketbook of poetry and a Robert Frost selected poem books that I just got at Barnes & Noble this past weekend. And I wanna read my students some of the selections in here, so that was good. 
I have a Sharpie pen that's retractable. Some hot tamales that got, I don't know, out of their box. I guess I used to have a box of hot tamales in here. And they escaped, so they got kind of squished. So this is garbage now. Zycam, gotta be prepared. I have some bronzer from Pixie and one from Alme. A hair tie. And some Ultra Defense um, sunscreen on a stick. And this is a cute little cozy that I got from Squirrels, I think it is. Um, I will be sure to link their Etsy shop in the description box below, but this is for your coffee. So I have a, a heart one and at home I have the rainbow one. All right, and a receipt. So that's it for the Mickey bag. Let me put everything in here now. Back in you go. All right, let's see what else. Here's another bag. This bag has a cute kitty unicorn. It says Unicat. I just got this like maybe a week ago at Walmart in the section where they have all the beach bags and things like that. So in here, I have some art supplies because as you know, I am currently back into drawing and I have my art Instagram, which is Artistic Wins, which is gonna come down below here somewhere. And you can check that out if you're interested. So these are my alcohol-based artist markers that I showed in a previous vlog. This pack is $39.99 on Amazon and I'm really loving how they look. And these are my Prismacolor fine liner markers that I use to do my line art for my art. And in here, I also have my Stedler Mars plastic eraser, which is my favorite. And a Papermate, I think, yeah, Papermate mechanical pencil so I can kind of draw and sketch. And I also have my white jelly roll pen so I can do my white accents on my drawings. So that's one of the first things that's in this bag. Let me just close this bag up. And these markers are 72 markers and they come in this carrying case for $39.99. I have my sketchbook and just to show you how those markers look, here is one of the pictures that I recently colored. And here is another picture so you can kind of see the brightness of the colors. So I really enjoy coloring with these markers. Color pencils is actually my go-to medium for coloring my drawings. I mean, I'm using the markers now because I'm really excited with how they're turning out. But my favorite color pencils are Prismacolor. And this is a set of 72, which is about 30 or $40, which is a good price. So Amazon is where I get these. And this is one of my other sketchbooks that I had. It's, it used to be the purple one that I showed in a previous video but it was in the car and I guess the material of the cover didn't respond very well with the sun so it got super sticky. So as a result, I covered it in that duct tape that I showed you in my other bag. So this is how I, you know, covered it in duct tape. So it looks kind of creative. And I really like it. So I still have my drawings in here that I kind of showed in a previous vlog, especially this one that I showed in a previous vlog. So that's that sketchbook. And last but not least, I have my new sketchbook with this fun little clasp that I got at Cracker Barrel recently. And in here is my logo for my Artistic Whims page. So it's a nice little soft leather. So that's what I carry with me in my Unicat bag. So I'm gonna put this back all in here. There we go. Unicat out. All right, another item that I carry in this cart is my laptop computer. This is a case that I got at Best Buy over a year ago. And in here I have my McAfee information, my license for that. I have an adapter for my iPad. I have a cable for my headphones, highlighter, uh, a converter for VGA, pen, and a wireless mouse. And wait, a USB uh, extra ports kind of thing that I got and a Sharpie pen or a Sharpie marker, fine liner. Yeah, fine liner, ultra fine, I think it is. Ultra fine, yes. Okay, so that's what's in the pocket inside of my laptop case. So let me put this all back in here. All right. This in here, I have my laptop, which is a Lenovo. And it is one of those that it's a laptop, but it can also be a kind of like a tablet kind of thing. And it's on right now. That's why the screen is going to turn blue. But yeah, well, but yeah, this is my laptop. And in here, I also have an extra USB drive where I back up my other USB drive. 
I have headphones that are kind of tangled right now with microphone, and I have the charger for my laptop, along with two pens. Boy, I have pens all over the place. Back in you go. By the way, this is the laptop that I use to upload my YouTube videos and to create my thumbnails as well. So I take it with me everywhere I go because I never know where I'm going to need to sit down and work on anything that I need to work on, whether it's for school or for myself. All right, let's get to the next item in this cart. All right, this nerdy Mickey bag has been with me for the past six years. I bought it when my son went on his fifth grade class trip to Epcot and I saw it at Epcot and I'm like, oh no, I love this bag. This bag is going with me. It has a pocket in the front and in here I have a USB car charger and some earbuds. I also have a hair tie, which I might be using soon because it's getting hot in my room. All right, so in here I have some Weight Watchers uh, flyers and information. I have garbage. This is garbage. Like seriously, this is garbage. Garbage. Okay. I have my Sharpie pens and this is a cool little case because you can open it up and wait, wait for it. There, it clicked and it can kind of stand up in the table so you can use them. So Sharpie pens. I also have some Crayola crayons. Yeah. Crayola crayons. Oh, this is where they are. <laughs> you carry things around and sometimes you don't even remember what it is that you're lugging around in this case. But these are my other Prismacolor fine liners. These include the same ones that I showed you previously, but the extra ones is a chisel tip and a brush tip. Nice. Whoa. Whoa. A melted chocolate, which I can't eat because I'm allergic. Mr. Sketch scented crayons that are twistable. Some Paper Mate mechanical pencils that look like real pencils. All right, more Weight Watchers information and papers and such. Some bookmarks. So I have one that says, always be yourself. Unless it can be a unicorn, then always be a unicorn. Super cute. This one says, unicorn wannabe. This one is because I'm a video gamer. Continue. I think a student gave this to me. These two are really fun. So these are 3D bookmarks. This one is a panda bear, which I love pandas. And this one is a unicorn, which I also love unicorns. Nice. An envelope with free money that I found in the bag that I've been carrying around all this time and I didn't even realize was in there. I'm so glad I'm doing this video. I'm finding all these little treasures. I didn't realize I was carrying along. Another bookmark. I don't have the time or the crayons to explain myself to you. <laughs> What's this? Garbage. Garbage. Maybe not. I don't think this is garbage. Okay, let's keep that there. <gasps> ew, ew, ew! Chocolate! All over the place. <laughs> no! Go away, chocolate. Go away. Made to Crave, which is a book that was recommended by a friend of mine, by Lisa Turkers. And I also have the Participant's Guide. And I have to work on these because I, I wanted to start these and I haven't yet. So I have the book and the participant's guide. So I need to get on that right now. I have two books from Erin Gruwell, which I met on December 2nd. And if you would like to see that video, you can probably click on the card that I'm going to put up here. It was day two of Vlogmas and I bought two of her books, which is The Freedom Writer's Diary and Teach With Your Heart. So I got to get those reading. Life is busy. I, I have so many books in my wish list that I want to read. So, sorry, I'm just throwing away little pieces of garbage that are in here, like the top of the crayon box. So these are more Weight Watchers things. These are booklets and pocket guides and things like that. Some of this is information from that day that I went to the conference where I met Erin Gruel. Sorry, I just put to the side more Weight Watchers little papers. This is from that conference, which was Idea Expo. And this was one of the sessions that I also featured in that vlog if you're interested in watching it. This is from a student that had a birthday party that I couldn't attend and she had a Harry Potter theme. So they made these cute little wands out of chopsticks and glue gun and they just colored it. And it has this little bookmark. Books are the best kind of magic. Love it. Oh, this is where the other book was. This is a lettering and modern calligraphy book that I bought and I started working on another one, but I kind of like this one so I, I'm going to practice this because I like how it has the letters 
and the space for you to practice. So I will be working on this. All these treasures that I haul with me every day and I don't realize I have more Weight Watchers flyers and more Weight Watchers flyers, more and more Weight Watchers flyers. I should just keep all of those together. Oh, this is beautiful. A student gave this to me. It's a heart necklace. Look how pretty. So, yep, that's what's in this bag along with a whole bunch of chocolate mess. Woo-wee. Okay, I'm going to empty this in the garbage right now and I'll be right back. All right, I just emptied this bag and I found in the inside pocket, I also had this cute little, what is it? A mechanical pencil with a little bottle of like pixie dust, I guess. Look how cute is that? So that with some more paper made gel pens and another retractable pen for my church. Okay, so back in the bag, everything goes and then I'm gonna show you what's next. Freestyle, freestyle, freestyle. Maybe I should start freestyling. I guess one good thing is coming out of this video. I'm getting to clean all of these bags and organizing them. That's awesome. All right, we have one more bag in this cart, so let me show you that now. This is what I intended to be my only teacher bag. But as you can see, I carry too many things with me. And one of the reasons why I have this cart is because all these bags, even if I'm just carrying one or two bags, they get super heavy on my shoulder and they start giving me shoulder pain and back pain. So it's not good. So the cart actually helps me offset all that pain that my shoulders will carry. So this is a really cute bag. I actually take this bag with me on workshops, not the cart, just the bag. So the cart stays with everything else, but in this bag I will put in whatever I need for that particular workshop. So let me show you what's in this cute teacher bag, which I got from Amazon, and I'll link it in the description box below for you if you're interested. First things first, I know it's not closed, but if this bag was nice and closed, it would look like this. And the brand name is, can't read upside down, Persetti. So this is a Persetti bag, and as you can see, it has a lot of pockets, and that's one of the things that really attracted me to it. So it has one, two, three pockets on this side. These pockets are empty. I don't have anything in there. It has this pocket on the side and another one similar to that on the other side. And then on the back, it also has one, two, and three. It has so many pockets. I love it. And on the inside, it also has pockets. So let me open it again and show you what's in here. So in here, in the inside pockets, I have Lip Balm by EOS. I have an extra inhaler. You can never be wrong with extra inhalers when you're as asthmatic as I am. I have more emergency vitamin C packets. Let's see what else? It's in these pockets. Okay, I don't see anything. I have these to-do list magnetic pad of things that I need to do. And I used to keep this in my desk and I forgot that it was in here. I should put it back in my desk because I love doing this and putting it to the side so I know what are the different things that I want to do for that day. I have this planner which I featured in another video here on my channel where I showed you three of the planners that I bought from Home Goods. So this is one. I was going to use this as my, what was I going to use for? I think I was going to use it for my fitness planner. Let's see. Actually, no. This is supposed to be my YouTube planner so I can plan out my videos and let myself know what are the videos that I posted and any future video ideas that I may have. So this is intended to be my YouTube planner. I just haven't used it in a while. That's why I was confused. I'm sorry, but if you're a teacher like me who buys planners, you have the best intentions of using planners, but then you don't use the planner, leave a comment down below and help me feel like I'm not alone. I have the wild card book by Hope and Wade King which I have not started reading yet, unfortunately, but I will, I really want to. It's just, life has been so busy recently. I have another planner. This one is, it says, this is my year. I don't know if you can kind of see it. And this one, let me see if I remember what this is meant to be used for. I think this one is meant to be my doodle planner. I wanted to have a doodle planner where I doodled in every day. And I kind of like how this one had the rectangle so I can just draw a little doodle in each rectangle. So, I mean, I'm behind, but I can always go back and fill it in with different things. So yeah, these planners, the good thing is they're not very expensive. They're like seven to $10, sometimes even $5. I get them at Home Goods, and they're super, super pretty. I just love buying notebooks and planners, even if I don't use them. I know, and it's terrible. This is 
paper from one of my PDs. This is my teacher planner, which yes, I have not used also religiously. Um, but whenever I want to just write my plans out before I even type them up, because I do like typing my plans, or just to get an idea of what I am going to be teaching, I like to kind of like write it out in the plan. Now I did start using it at the beginning of the year and I was pretty good at being colorful and putting it together, but I kind of have fallen off to the side with that. And we only have eight weeks left of school, but who knows, I can still kind of put some use to it. I got this, or actually my mom got this for me at Target at the beginning of the year when all the back to school sales were going on. All right, I have this beautiful notebook that says always believe in the beauty of your dreams. I also got this for home goods. This was $6, I got it a couple years ago. And this is just a, a writing notebook. And I've done some little ideas for lessons and for videos and for weight loss. So it, I really like the message of this notebook and it's very inspiring and motivating. And in here I have this other planner and this one is meant to be for my scripture, I think. Actually, no, let me see. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I believe this planner is meant to be as part of my fitness planner. So yeah, this is another planner that I have. So I have a total of three planners. Well, if you count my teacher planner, I have four planners and they all have different purposes and I can go back to them and do that. I have my Sensory Genius pencil pushers that have all these contractions so I can kind of like distract myself because of my ADHD. I keep them in here and some more notes from PDs. So that's basically all that was in my last teacher bag. Let me just put everything back in here. All right, so those were all the items in my cart. I finished taking everything out just to show you. This is how my cart looks on the inside. It's all empty except for some paper clips that are at the bottom of it because that just happens when you're a teacher. And now I'm just gonna put everything back in the cart. Mm -hmm. Wow, look how nice and organized my cart is getting. And the purse. All right, so there you have it. Those were all the items that were in my teacher cart. So if you like this video, please hit the like button, leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought about all of this royal mess that I carry with me all around. I know I need to like cut it down and shorten it and be a little bit more minimalistic, but it's very difficult for me to do that. So it is what it is. I This cart has been with me for the past seven years, the student that was in my class seven years ago when he was in fourth grade is now a junior. His mom is the one that gave me this bag as a gift because that particular school year, I was using one of those plastic ones that you get from Office Depot or Office Max. And she saw how it literally just collapsed from the bottom and all my things just went spewing out of it in the middle of the parking lot. And uh, when she saw that, a couple weeks later, she came in with this beautiful cart that she got from Michaels. Unfortunately, I cannot find the same cart in Michaels anymore. Michaels does carry carts like this or similar to this, but it's not exactly as roomy and wide as this one is. And I know I'm gonna have to need to invest in one pretty soon because one of the wheels is kind of like pushed back and it doesn't really roll that much anymore. And the top has these little foots that kind of let it sit in the front, but one of them is like pushed back. I mean, the car is seven years old, so it has lasted a very long time. But soon I think maybe over the summer, I'm gonna have to choose a new cart. But I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing by hitting the subscription button right on the side and also hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss any future videos. Have a beautiful, magical day and don't forget to smile.